healing, salvation, and happiness. It's your season. It's your time. God has plans for your life to prosper you and to give you hope and a future. Join us and learn how God's love and power can bring hope and happiness to your life. This is your opportunity for motivation, encouragement, and purpose. Welcome, church family. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network, where we bring you the Lord's Word every day from some of the country's most inspiring churches and pastors. And today is no different. Let's check out one of the newest members of the Daily Gospel Network. We want to share with you, yeah, and your family, family. the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God with one touch in the streets. We're touching hearts and changing lives with one touch in the streets. We're here for you right now. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to the One Touch Ministries broadcast. My name is Pastor Shannon and this is Mrs. Young. <laughs> wow, I get a new name every week. One minute I'm Prophetess Naditra, Pastor Naditra. Now I'm Mrs. Young. She's Mrs. Young. Okay, so yep. I guess I'm being Mrs. Young today. That's right, you Mrs. Young today. You first lady. Oh, I'm today. That's another name, see? Oh, yeah. Nope. She the only lady. <laughs> well, praise God, everybody. God bless everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in with One Touch Ministry here on the Daily Gospel. We are so super excited to be in your homes today. It's another fabulous Friday. That's a fabulous it Friday. It is a fabulous Friday. Yes, it is, because we got so much stuff to tell y'all. I'm telling you, that we're going to give y'all the tea on today. Ooh, getting the tea on today. The tea. Okay. You got to make sure you have your pinky up with the tea cup. Oh, get pinky in the tea cup. Because <laughs> <laughs> we got some tea for y'all today, all right? <laughs> yes. And so um, one of the things that's coming up uh, really soon is in October, uh, October 30th at yes. 5 o'clock p.m. We are going to be meeting at the First Baptist Church of Riverside where we're doing the Stop the Curse Conference. Yes, we will be doing the Stop the Curse Conference. All right. I'm telling you, we need for every single one of you to join us on that evening, 5 o'clock p.m. at 91 Whitaker Street in Riverside, New Jersey at the First Baptist Church of Riverside. And we are going to have an amazing time. My wife and I are going to just go forward in Jesus Christ. Now, this is going to be an in-person service, so everybody is invited everybody is invited yes make sure you wear your mask <clears throat> so we can make sure we stay um protected at all times but we just want to make sure you come and um be able to praise god with us it's going to be fantastic i'm so excited because we are actually going to be stopping the curse we all know what the month of october represents and we i, I don't know about anybody else but i see people like they open up stores for costumes yes they i mean the people decorate their houses like it's christmas morning mm -hmm. you know what i mean these people get really excited about the month of october being halloween mm -hmm. and i said i don't understand how they get so excited about something that's to me in my eyes demonic Mm -hmm. I said, but you know what? That's all right, because we're going to stop the curse today. We're yes. going to stop this thing from happening by what? Prayer. We all know that prayer changes things. We all yes. know that praise changes things. We all know that worship, uh, 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 getting into that intimate time. Pastor was talking about um, meditating on the Word of God on yes. Sunday. When he was talking about that, that really hit me. Mm -hmm. I said, because God, I love meditating on your Word. Mm -hmm. Read the Word of God, and then I sit. Mm -hmm. And I just let that word just soak up on me. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm going to tell you something. The word will correct you before somebody else would. Yes, it will. And I, I like the fact how, um, how Pastor King was talking about how, um, you know, how, how you speak the word back to God. You, you read yes. it. 
you meditate on it, think about it, and then you speak it back to him. And so that's one of the things that just growing up that mm -hmm. I learned. That's the reason why um, I remember scripture so well. That's the reason why, you know, certain scriptures, especially when I pray, I pray, you know, the Lord is my light, my salvation, whom shall I fear? That's one of the yes. scriptures that, that he pointed out. Yes. So, you know, so I pray it like, God, you are my light. Mm -hmm. You are my salvation. Whom shall I fear? That's it. The Shoot Lord it. is the strength of my life. Come on. Whom shall I be afraid? And so, you know, so those are coming some, some of the things that, um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that, that, that's some of the things that we want to point out at the Stop the Curse conference is that, you know, um, you be able to speak those things uh, and then be able to come out of those things. Yeah. There are some things that people need to come out of. Right, and that's one of the reasons why we're doing this conference, to help people actually step into something great, come out of the situations that they find themselves in, or recognize that they are in a sticky situation. Ooh, <laughs> are we talking about sticky situations already? Wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to try my best to keep calm on keep, that one, okay? Keep calm. Well, let's, let me say this. Okay. Now, uh -oh. One Touch Ministries do, does Bible study yes. at noon every saturday yes and so if you want to join us make sure that you go to our uh, website contact us say hey i want to join in, in your bible study um uh, the, the daily gospel actually puts my email address this is actually my personal email address exactly that they put down at the bottom of the screen here so you'll see uh, one touch ministries at gmail.com at the bottom of the screen and listen email me and let me know hey send me the link to come on in and join into our Bible study. And I think Bible study is pretty good this past week, even if I have to say so myself. <laughs> no, I'm just messing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, the Word of God was really, really good. And I, I praise God because you did explain the Word of God mm -hmm. um, very, um, very, very uh, strategically. And, and you broke it down really good because our daughter was on um, the Zoom. And I we were asking her questions throughout the session. And she was mm -hmm. like, no, this is amazing. She said, I really like this. Like, she was commenting, talking about myself, okay, I'm feeling this, Mom. Yeah. I'm this. I, I like the examples that y'all putting out. I like what y'all are saying. Mm -hmm. And I praise God because, you know, it's good to break down the word, but it's good mm -hmm. to break down the word where the young people yes. will understand because yes. we're so concerned about our young folks um, learning other things and mm -hmm. having knowledge of other things. Well, if you're so concerned about that, then when it's time for you to teach and preach Bible study, you mm -hmm. need to break it down so that they can understand, so they won't continue to believe a lie. Yes. They won't be continue to, to their minds won't be transformed by other things. Yes. You know what I mean? Because they be like, no, wait a minute. That's not true because the Bible said, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They'll understand it. So I was just so grateful to God that you were able to hear God's mm -hmm. voice and you broke it down really mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. When I tell you, I'm going to preach <laughs> this Bible study that we had on last Saturday. Okay, I'm fitting to preach. This word, because mm -hmm. I said, uh-uh, nope. I got to let the word marinate on mm -hmm, you a little mm -hmm, bit more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got to let, 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 let it marinate Ooh. on you a bit. Let it marinate. Yeah. Let it marinate. Yeah. Let it marinate. <laughs> <laughs> because I guarantee you, I'm going to preach this thing. And I told Pastor Shen, I said, bro, you got, you, you, bro, you gotta watch out. Yes. Cause I'm finna take that yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, I'm finna take that yes. word. <laughs> so we're journeying through John Ooh, um, this yes. month. Yes. And so it is so exciting. And you know what I love about our Bible study? Because yourself, along with Minister Henry, yes. you know, there, there was a, a point where I was making a point. And I'm getting I was high. like, mm, I'm not for sure. And my wife was trying to explain what she was saying. But then Minister Henry jumped in. He, he was like, Pastor, this is what she what she's trying to say. So, Come on. And so the way that both of them broke it down to me in the word, I was just like. That's when Sierra was like. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> I like that, Mom and Dad. I'm I was feeling like, this Bible study. Yeah. Because, I mean, I, I was like, y'all teach the pastor. I mean, I may be the pastor, but I'm not above learning. But or seeing it in a different way that like somebody that. else sees it in. So, I mean, I thank God for you guys for breaking that down to me like that. Well, thank you. We yes. praise God. Because I like that. You know, you said something that was very key. Mm -hmm. You said, I'm not above. Mm -hmm. 
being taught. Mm -hmm. And as a leader, you should listen to your team. Mm -hmm. Because your team will mm -hmm. spit some knowledge out to you. Mm -hmm. Your team will tell you what's being said out there in the streets. Yes. They got their ears to the streets at all times. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes as leaders, we are in Mm -hmm. And so many different things, and we have we're wearing so many different hats. Mm -hmm. We don't hear yes everything that's going on. That's right. But when you have a team of people that are with you, mm -hmm. that stand with you, and they see the vision that God has given you, mm -hmm. and they got their ears down to the ground, mm -hmm. they hear what's in the streets, they hear what's going on in the world, mm -hmm. and they be like, Pastor, whoever you know, who prophet is apostle, whoever is leading, mm -hmm. listen. Hey, let me let me let me tell you what's going on. What the people are saying. Yeah, yeah. What the people are saying. You know what I mean? Let's flip this thing. Let's work on this thing. Let's make let's 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 win back the trust of the people. Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you something. You can have a movement all day, but if you ain't got no people to follow you, baby, that movement will be a silent movement. Mm -hmm. You don't want silent movements. You want movements that make a noise. Yes. That got. Uh, Dr. King, uh -huh. prime example. Yeah, yeah. People followed mm -hmm. Dr. King. That's right. Because yeah. he had a team of people. When I say Dr. King had a team of people, he had a team of people stationed mm -hmm. all around. They would bring information back. This is why they had huddles. And they had to have secret mm -hmm. huddles. Yes. Y'all need to read up on y'all black history. I'm telling you. And what happened was they were able to tell him the information. So when he made his speeches, he made speeches off of what was really going on in the streets wow. with the people. Wow. And in return, because he had a team of people and people was really working with him and they were following him in these marches because they, he, he listened to the team of people that he had. Around. He trusted Mm -hmm. Those people and those people followed him in a different manner, and I'm telling, you, and, and that's where the movement came from because they, because it was like, wow, he actually gets us. Yes. He actually understands. Dr. King couldn't be everywhere because he was too busy getting locked up. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was getting locked up for the movement. But what I'm saying is because he was wearing many hats, mm -hmm. he had to have a good team of people. This is just like Jesus. Yeah. The 12 disciples. Yeah. The 12 disciples. He had a team of people. He had a team of men. 12 people. And he stationed them all over. Mm -hmm. He said, this is what I want you to do here. And y'all go by twos. Go by twos. Mm -hmm. So you won't never be alone. Because so you need somebody that's speaking, but you need somebody that's willing to be the eyes and the ears. Everybody can't speak at the same time. Oh, Jesus. Everybody can't speak at the same time. Yes. Y'all can't all speak at the same time. You need one speaking. And you need one being able to hear. Yes. And see what's going on around you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I got caught up with that team thing. No, I just love right. how you just brought that out about the team. Mm -hmm. Us working together because that's what it's all about. You yes. Iron sharpens what? Iron. I'm done. That's I'm it. I'm finished. Ooh, God, I felt that thing. Ooh, I <laughs> let it go. <laughs> so one more announcement before we get to the big announcement. Uh-oh. Is. I'm scared. <laughs> so, um, you know, I've been doing my men's conference for, what, have I been doing it for two years now? Has it been two years I, now? I think it's been about <clears throat> two years almost. A good, I know a good solid year and a half. A good solid year and a half. Okay. Um, so I'm doing my last quarter. I like to do every single quarter. So I'm doing my last quarter. Uh, Mighty Men of Valor oh Virtual God. Men's Conference. Do y'all see this This right house? here is going to be <laughs> so, 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 so good. Yes, I'm telling is. you, I got preachers all over the world. Literally, I got preachers all over the world. Let me get my own little flyer. Y'all excuse me while I get my own my flyer. <laughs> y'all see my head went down. <laughs> yes. Pastor Shannon. Now you may take the floor. I may take the floor. Okay. Thank you very much. This this conference right here is again virtual men's conference. So you're gonna be able to view it both on Facebook as well as on YouTube. So I'm not inviting other people to come in with us because I have four dynamic speakers and it's gonna be two nights. It's gonna be two two days of dynamite. 
Oh my god. <laughs> when I tell you two days of dynamite. I am so hyped because yes. I know all of them, I think except for Apostle um Taylor. You, Apostle Taylor, yes. I, mm -hmm. I, I I haven't gotten a chance to really talk to Apostle Taylor. I've heard about Apostle Taylor, but I haven't gotten a chance to develop a um, relationship, a strong relationship with Apostle Taylor mm -hmm. yet. But I know after this and before this uh, wonderful conference, um, this dynamic, yes. the dynamic men of God. Two days of dynamite. Yeah. Armed and dangerous. Listen, that's what it. What did he say? What did he say? Listen, okay? Armed, that, that's the conference name this year. Armed and and dangerous. And I, I will say mm -hmm. that that right there. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's to be dangerous. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm gonna have to wear my army fatigue that day. Mm. Because let me tell you. Oh, something. because of two days. Ooh. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> I said to wear my army fatigue because I can tell right now we're going to go to war, y'all. We are going to war. Yes. But I love it. I love the fact that y'all men can come together. Mm -hmm. And what I love about because I've spent quality time with all of them. Yes. And y'all all love each other. They love each other so much. Mm hmm they are brothers. Mm -hmm. They are friends. They are homies. Yes. You know what I mean? They cry together. Mm -hmm. And I'll be sitting in the background crying with them. Oh, Jesus, Lord, Lord, Jesus, Lord, God. Bless my brothers, Lord. But yes. I love it. Like, mm -hmm. it shows so much because sometimes it's hard for men to come together. Mm -hmm. Just like it's hard for women to come together. But it's yes. hard for men, you know, because sometimes our pride gets up in the way. Mm, come on. Glory to God. Sometimes, yes. you know, I'm more down. I, I, I'm more stronger than he is. I'm a prophetic and I'm a. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Sometimes our ego. Come on. Is this big? Well. And the room is only this small. Come on. How you gonna fit all of this mm. into this? Ooh -wee. Okay, so to see men of God. Not looking at titles. They actually put in their titles. The titles may be on the on the flyer. On flyer. Mm -hmm. That's that's nice and all that. But at the end of the day, they put their leg in. They put one leg in on their pants. They put their mm -hmm. pants on one leg at a time. Mm -hmm. One leg at a time. And mm -hmm. they, they putting the titles down. Mm -hmm. And they going in mm -hmm. hard. And yes. this is what I'm talking about. We need that. That's yes. what we need as a... Uh, uh, um, to see our husbands, mm -hmm. our fathers being strong because men mm -hmm. bring identity. That's right. Not only just to the children. My husband brings identity to me. Mm -hmm. As his wife, he brings... Y'all men need to understand that. If the men don't set the order up in the household, mm -hmm. we finna have a problem. Because yeah. y'all got to set... Y'all have to set the order. Yes. The kids are watching it. Mm-hmm. Our daughter, she watches you. She watches. She, when I say she, she watches. watches him, she watches him. And and sometimes I get a little upset because I be like, why she no more? Why she no? Because he, you know what he said to me? And we were just joking. He mm -hmm. said, babe, she pay attention. Mm -hmm. I said, you're right. She do be paying attention. Yes, she wow. does. Well, I, I'm, I'm and excited. And so these men, I'm telling you, these men right here, I have. Uh, so Apostle um, Andre Taylor mm -hmm. is my cousin. He's from Chicago, Illinois. Family. All day long. <laughs> Family. Okay, so, okay, because that's the other side. I haven't met the Chicago side. Yeah. Okay. You haven't met the Chicago side yet. That's all right, because yes. I'm finna... I'm, that's right. We're we, we getting right. ready to get that together. <laughs> we have uh, Pastor uh, Freddie uh, uh, Resto. Jezreel. This... Pastor Jezreel is the... Ooh. I can't. I can't wait to I, cause I, you know, you know, I'm doing a video for the, you know, I'm doing a video, you know, yeah, you, cause you he, know, go, cause yeah, he speaks you know. Spanish and he preaches in English. That's right. That, that's all. That's it. Y'all gotta hear. Him and he it. sings and worship. Play. I think he play every instrument. <laughs> I say every, every instrument every because this joking. They got on the keyboard. The drums. He got on the drums. Yeah. He can play the bass. I be like, oh goodness. What don't you do? Exactly. Preaches the word of God. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Pastor Steve and, and, and Pastor Resto is from Violin, New Jersey. Yes. We got Pastor Steve Clark all the way. Yes. From Saginaw, Michigan. Now, that's my homie. <laughs> that's my homie. <laughs> woo, woo, Philly all day. That's my <laughs> homie right there. Okay? He done moved from New Jersey, Philadelphia to South, was it South Carolina? 
Huh? No. Pastor Steve Clark? No, no, no. No, no, no. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about uh, Christopher oh. Burials. Oh, you get raised. Oh, I uh, ain't even introduced I, I jumped, him yet. I jumped. She jumped. She jumped. She I'm jumped. talking about, because you know what it was? Go, I saw go, his picture. Go, go ahead. Pastor Chris Burials from um, Ga- Gaston, Gastina, North Carolina? Listen, that's my friend. <laughs> that's my homie. I'm sorry. That's my homie. So she I could wait. All day. <laughs> I couldn't wait. <laughs> Pastor Chris, see, see, see how I'm representing? I, I yes. jumped the gun, but that's all right. <laughs> yes. Pastor Chris Bird, that's that's my friend. Yes. That's my friend. Okay. That's your friend. That's my friend. Yes. <laughs> and then, now that's going to be on November 13th. Yes. That's on a Saturday, 5 o'clock p.m. And, and, and so then we're going to jump into Sunday. At 5 o'clock p.m. on November the 15th. Now, make sure you don't forget. Let them know about Pastor Clark. Huh? I told them about Pastor I was talking Because you jumped in front of Pastor uh, Clark. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. But well, Pastor Clark is the bomb. That's my homie, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what... Saggy on Michigan. Yes. Saggy, saggy, saggy. Mm. <laughs> saggy, saggy, saggy. <laughs> saggy, saggy, saggy. <laughs> Listen, and then we have... Uh, none other than the Prophet D. Prophet Donald Sanford. He going to prophesy y'all right under the... <laughs> He is in San Antonio, Texas. All day. All day. Now, he just recently, him and his wife just recently moved from Seattle, Washington. Yeah. And they're down in When I say San big Antonio. move. Yeah, that's big move. Big, big move. Yes. They make a big move. Yes. And they also have a wonderful food truck. Yes, they amazing do. Amazing food truck. I'm, yes. I, I'm, I'm excited because now I want some food. Now you want some food. Now I want some food. <laughs> Listen. <okay. laughs> so I got to come to Texas. Y'all gotta invite us to Texas. Yes, Texas. Because I need some of the nice little, you know, food that y'all, the wifey be cooking. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move over to Middletown, Ohio with Evangelist Franklin Hicks, a.k.a. Ooh. Hoop. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's the street name. That, that, that's the street name right there. Hoop. I, listen, I, I, only because recently he posted on Facebook, he said, he said, y'all know me as Hoop. But that hoop is gone. I am now Franklin. I said. Oh, he checked you. He, he, I said, yes, sir. He let yeah, you know. Yeah, he let everybody know. Uh-oh. Yeah, he let everybody know. No more hoop. He was like, hoop had to die. Because Uh-oh. hoop was that old man. Uh-oh. We had to bury him down in the water. Oh. <laughs> and I came guys. up Franklin. <laughs> he said, I came up Franklin. I like that. That's cute. But yes, got that. And then we have your buddy, Pastor Justin Valentine, Listen. right here in Pottstown, PA. I love the Valentines. <laughs> when I tell you, First Lady, that's my girl. She is so beautiful inside. First, she's beautiful inside. But man, she is beautiful on the outside. <laughs> and I be telling Justin all the time. I just said it yesterday. Yes. In the car I said, Babe, look at look look at her look at no, she, picture. I, she actually look, did. Look at her picture. He was like, Oh, she's beautiful. I said, Man, she is really beautiful. I said, Justin better keep her eye. Huh? Pa- he passed yeah. Justin better keep her eye on the shit. She better cause she looking good. Yes. And I just I, I love them. They are so amazing. When yes. I tell you we have relationship with yes. all of these wonderful all pastors. All of these wonderful these pastors. Leaders these leaders are leaders. Oh I'm my god. Me. Let me get to the last one and get to the announcement. Yes. Now this one I don't think you've met yet. Okay. But I know that you've seen videos okay. of Pastor Dury Thomas from no. the Bahamas. I haven't met him. Yes. Now and I And Pastor haven't. Dury actually pastors two churches, one in the Bahamas, the other one in I think it's he's probably gonna correct me. I think it's St. Lucian's, Florida. But it's in Florida. Yes, so he pastored two churches. Oh my One God. in the Bahamas and one here in America. This is amazing. This is am- That's what I'm talking about. Okay? God's word being all over. All over the place. That's what I'm talking about. I'm so, so I'm telling you. And speaking of God's word being all over the place, guess who's going to have a book all over the place? Real soon. My God. I want to introduce to you none other than the prophetess. Uh-oh. The author of behind closed doors coming out of sticky situations. <laughs> the one, the only. <laughs> Prophet is not Dietrich Young. Listen, honey, I know we only got a few minutes and I didn't want to take too much time about the book, but just give us an introduction Ooh. on what 
behind closed doors. All I'm going to say is I hope when you read this book that you're sitting down. Because it is about a lot of different things that go on behind the scenes of people. Mm. Behind the closed doors. Behind what ministry really is. What people are doing in ministry. What people are doing just at home in mm -hmm. general. Mm -hmm. You know, and we don't understand that people really go through behind closed doors. My God. They really do be going mm -hmm. through. And it's sad. You know, we these are the people that we see every day. These yes. are the people that we shout with, praise God with, go to work with, and we think that everything is always hunky-dory, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Don't let the riches fool you. Don't let the cross fool you. Mm, come on. Don't let that stuff fool you because people actually are facing trauma. They are facing trauma, not just from childhood, but I'm talking about adulthood trauma. And everybody walk with a smile, makeup, hair. And let me tell you something. I hid behind hair. Mm. I hid behind makeup. Wow. And I hid behind fancy clothes. Wow. But deep down inside and behind closed doors, Jesus. now Detroit was really suffering when i tell you i was suffering i was suffering i was going through so much stuff that the church folk you would have thought that they because they was church people mm -hmm. you see my quotation marks they was church folk and they call themselves highly anointed they hear the word of god you would think they would have heard my cry come on this is why you can't put stock you can't invest Put your investment, your hard-earned money up in people. Wow. Don't do it. Don't do mm -mm. it. Wow. Don't do it because I'm going to tell you something. When stuff go wrong, mm -hmm. they're not going to hear you crying. Wow. Mm -mm. The door closed too tight. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to hear you crying. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we got like two minutes left. So, there, so we was walking along the beach this past week. And my wife just began to share some things that's not in the book. So this is going to be a little bit extra for those of you who watch it on the Daily Gospel Network. You was talking about the Black Widow. Can you just talk her just a briefly, just a little bit about that? Okay. Again, this is extra. This is not in the book. So if you're watching this Daily Gospel Network broadcast, you're getting something that's fresh. Well, uh, just a tad bit of it, maybe. Just a tad bit, but I, I, I'll expound on what I was saying. A black widow, when it bites you, it's, it, it paralyzes you. Mm. A black on. widow paralyzes mm. you, and it paralyzes your mind first, your thoughts. Mm. And when it paralyzes your thoughts, it puts everything else on shutdown mode. Mm. Because if people don't understand the brain is the, the, the biggest muscle. Come on. They don't understand that's the toughest thing. Mm. And even if your legs ain't working, but if your mind tell your legs to move, your legs will move. Mm -hmm. If the mind tells you to move your hand, the hand will move. Mm -hmm. So your head does whatever. The the head is in control, and your body listens to what your head says. Come on. So we as individuals gotta remember: don't get bit by the black widow. Because when you get bit by the black widow, it'll paralyze your mind, which will stop you from thinking, which will stop you from actually remembering to move. So just be careful. Make sure the black widow don't, you know, it don't bite you. Yo, that was so powerful. There's yes. so much revelation in there. And uh, uh, the, that's why the Bible says, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Because when people get your mind first, that's what they get. They when get the enemy your gets your mind, that's it. He, he got, got you. you. <laughs> that is a Shannon that's E. Young quote right there. He got that, you. That, that, that's he it. He got you. If the enemy gets your mind, he got it's you. It's over. Over. The body is going to do what the mind tells it to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So listen, on today, we want to thank you guys. We want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. This has yes. been our time. Yeah. And we're just going to quickly pray. Father God, we thank information on today's Spotlight Church, visit them on the internet and follow them on social media. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network. And until next time, remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us.